gives me great pleasure to greet you in the name of Jesus. I would like to wish all the fathers of the East End Seventh Day Adventist Church a happy Father's Day. I would like you to know that you are not alone. Jesus is with you, and he is determined to be with you even unto the end. So I encourage you to keep being strong. Keep striving for the mastery. Keep providing for your families. Keep being strong in the faith. Keep on loving your wives and loving your children. Soon and very soon, we are going to see Jesus coming in glory, our true Heavenly Father. My name is Dwayne Hutchinson, son of Brother Hutchie. When I think of my father, I think of someone who's filled with empathy and understanding, and one who provides a pair of ears for me to speak to him about any and anything. And for that, I'm very thankful and appreciative. Secondly, I also think of that moment when he visited me and I took him to Brimstone Hill. I saw the little boy in him come alive. And I was so happy to be a part of that. He was genuinely happy. He smiled from within. And I was grateful that I could have given him that opportunity. So on this day and every day, I would like to wish you Happy Father's Day from Divine, Ayla, and myself. We love and appreciate you. came by to tell you how much I love you, how much I appreciate you, how much I'm so thankful to God for you. Um, I remember when I was graduating university and when I was coming off of the stage with my diploma in hand and I looked up in the crowd and I looked up and I saw mommy and daddy and I looked straight at you and I pointed to you at that moment every single thing that you've done for me every sacrifice that you made every nail that you pound every cement bag that you carry every time you had to travel to work everything that you've done for me that culminated the moment and I thank you so much. I love you so much. I appreciate you and thank you for being such an amazing father. So happy Father's Day, Pops, and I love you till eternity, forever and forever. Amen. Father's Day greetings from South Island. Today, we pay tribute to our father, Albert Norris. Daddy, remember you telling us that you flew all the way from Antigua and sailed to this island to ask for our mother's hand in marriage. Our grandparents accepted you with open arms, and through that, we are here today. Daddy, you have taught us to be loving, caring, and respectful. And to spend time with God each morning. Through that, and everything else you have done for us, we are truly grateful. Happy Father's Day from your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchild. We love you. Happy Father's Day to my dad. My um, favorite activity to do with him is just chilling, talking with him. I don't have the activity, but that's my activity, like just getting advice from him. I also like to hang with him, like if we go to town or something. Yes, my lightning buddy. <laughs> so yeah, that's my favorite activity, to be honest. So, happy Father's Day, Daddy. Daddy, hope you have a good day. Stay safe and stay blessed. Um, I just want to thank you for being an excellent dad, um, a good father, which is a rare commodity in, which is rare within this society. And I would like to thank you for being an excellent father. You have seen me through uh, from birth to um, now. Um, it's 23 years that I'm living. Uh, I love you. Um, uh, 
God bless you and hope you have a, um, a, a, a wonderful day. Taking part in stuff that were important to us. My favorite memory would have to be um, memories of Sabbath mornings, getting ready for church. We would always have breakfast together and we would always have these little dance, you know, dance off competitions, um, dancing to oldie goldies. Those were fun times. And I would just like to thank you, Dad, for always being there for us and showing us as your children love and support throughout the years and we appreciate you for that we love you daddy love you <laughs> bye <laughs> Father's Day, Grandpa. I really hope that you have a blessed day and I really hope that God blesses you to see many more Father's Day. I love you. The most memorable experience I had with my dad, Odin Chawal, is in the summer of 2019. He took me to the beach every day. The results of that I am now able to swim. Daddy, I want to thank you for taking the time off. I love you and I hope you live a very long life. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. This is Nisha. Happy Father's Day from me and Harmony. We love you. Thank you for everything. We appreciate you. Hey, it's Imani. I just want to say Happy Father's Day. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for helping me with everything. I love you so much. And I just hope that you enjoy your day. Happy Father's Day. I love you, Daddy. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Hope you have a wonderful one. I love you, for me and the kids. spiritual advisor for all these years. Your constant pursuit for godliness and your unwavering dependency on your heavenly father are two of the most important traits I have admired about you. Thank you for teaching me to be honest in my interactions with everyone and to also maintain a high level of integrity regardless of my feelings. Many persons view your firm approach as stringent and may not often want to interact you with you. Me to be but this form of approach has helped me to be a disciplined, productive, and respectable citizen. Thank you for raising me well. Continue to depend on your father 
be faithful. I love you, Daddy. Dear Daddy, we love you because you took care of us. And you teach us about the Bible for we to learn. And we always want to be on your side. Thank you, Daddy, for everything you did. Happy Father's Day. Good afternoon, everyone. I am going to be reading a poem that will celebrate my father, Desmond Alexis. And that poem is a poem that I did when I was five years old. But before I start reading my poem, I am going to show you what my poem looks like. Right here, this is my handprint when I was five years old. My daddy is the best. He takes me to the park. He tucks me into bed when it is getting dark. Daddy reads me stories while I sit by his side. Sometimes Daddy seeks me while I run off and hide. Now here is my handprint, though it is still quite small. It will help remind you when I have grown so tall. Just how much I love you in every single week, right now and forever. So happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I love you. Hello, my name is Mark Macdoon. My father's name is Mark, a very loving father. He loves us very much. He is my hero. Love you. Love you, Daddy. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. We love you, we miss you, and we appreciate everything that you have done for us. God made you. Happy Father's Day to the most wonderful father in the world. Daddy, I just want to say that I love you very much and I wish we could all be here to celebrate this Father's Day to show you how much we appreciate and love you. You are one of the most hardworking person I know and that encourages me to work hard. You have always been there for us through everything. In everything. You have always been a work supporter or motivator. You're always encouraging me to be myself and stay strong and for that I really, really appreciate it. I love you, Daddy. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy Father's Day and a happy Father's Day to the rest rest of the fathers in the church. Bye. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Pops. Uh, thank you for being there for every time um, I needed you, even when I didn't know I needed you. Uh, thank you for showing me how to um, be a leader and do a lot of positive things and try and be a different person in this world. Happy Father's Day to all the, all the fathers also. teaching me to ride a bike, taking me camping and making sports. Thanks for being at Alma School Sports and Consult. Kyrie and I love you. Happy Father's Day.
because of hopeless, confusing toil. Hold dark your candle for all to see it. Take your candle and go like your world. Take your candle like your world. Happy Father's Day, gentlemen. Go light your world. Happy Father's Day. I like when you take me to the beach and have a picnic. Yes, I'm sorry. for the fathers at church today and we just wanted to say that we love you and we miss you and from the three of us we just wanted to wish you a very special happy, happy, happy Father's Day. Day happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I especially want to wish a very special happy Father's Day to my father, Brother Tibert George. This is coming from all the family. You know we love you. We thank God for the many years that he has given you. And we just want to say on this day that we are so grateful and thankful to have you as our father, you know, with you. When we were wrong, we were right. And when we were right, we were double right. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you so much for always encouraging us, always being there to defend us and loving us. No matter what you would love us through everything. We just want to thank you for that. We praise God for you. And I pray today is a very amazing special Father's Day for you. We love you so much. I also want to wish a very happy Father's Day to my brother, Brother Simon George, coming from all of us. Just letting you know that we appreciate you as well. <laughs> You're an amazing father and continue to be a great father to the blessing that God has given you. My grandfather Isaac Stout. Daddy, no matter how much time goes by, I treasure all the memories we made, especially our family gatherings. I always look forward to them because I knew you would always bring a chair to sit outside with us to have a good joke and laugh. It gave me great joy to see you laugh. You never judged me when I went wrong, but instead encouraged me when I was on the right track. That is how I felt your love, and I thank and appreciate you for that. I pray that God continue to be with you and that you feel his tender love every moment as he walks with you. We, your children and grandchildren, would like to wish you a happy Father's Day. We love you always. thanks for you. Uh, a good piece of advice that you gave me, other than to brakes whenever I was in the car, um, is to not be afraid of life. And thank you for all the wonderful times we've had. Thank you that you have been there for me all the times. The piece of advice my father gave me is that life is hard and we need to control how we feel and how we act. Hello, happy Father's Day, Daddy. What I enjoy doing with you most 
would be our vacations. And the advice that you have given me that has stuck with me through my life would be to always occupy myself and not to be idle and to find new ways to educate myself. Um, I love you guys very much and I miss you and I can't wait to see you guys again. Love you, Daddy. I put all things aside and when I believe in God, all things is possible. So to my loving, loving father, I love you, love you so much. And this father's the greeting are coming from my husband and my four loving children. Happy Father's Day, Dad! Brothers and sisters, I'm so delighted to be with you today. Um, this is Pastor Brent Sension. I'm happy to share with our fathers, and I want to wish you a happy Father's Day and pray that the Spirit of God will bless you as you minister to your families and you minister even in the church, that the Lord will bless your leadership as men in the household of faith, but also as the men of your homes, as you seek to reflect Christ as the priest of the home in everything that you know. Today I want to share with you from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3. And I've captioned the message for today, Be the Father God Wants You to Be. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 3, and reading from verse 1, that Samuel ministered in the sanctuary with Eli being the high priest. And the Bible says that one night while Samuel was hanging out in, in his room and so on, getting ready for bed and going to sleep, the Bible says that he heard a voice calling. And the Bible says when he heard that voice calling, Samuel thought it was Eli and he ran to Eli's um, bedside and he said, Eli, you called me. And he said to Samuel, I didn't call you. Samuel went a second time and, and the third time and so on. But the Bible says, the Bible says, Eli recognized recognizing that Samuel had heard the voice of God said to Samuel the next time the voice calls you answer speak Lord thy servant here the Bible says in first Samuel chapter 3 reading from verse 9 therefore Eli said unto Samuel go lie down and it shall be if he call thee that thou shall say speak Lord thy servant heareth so Samuel went and laid down in his place the Bible says and the Lord came and stood and called as at other times Samuel Samuel and the Bible says that Samuel said speak Lord thy servant heareth and the Bible says and the Lord said to Samuel behold I will do a thing in Israel at which both the ears of everyone that heareth shall tingle in that day I will perform against Eli all the things which I have spoken concerning his house which I begin and when I begin I will also also make an end for I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity, the iniquity which he knoweth because his sons made themselves vile and he restrained them not brothers and sisters Eli was a wonderful king well respected in the temple well respected in his earthly ministry as the high priest everybody respected Eli as a matter of fact when Eli saw Hannah praying for Samuel he went and he, he said to, to her, why are you drunk? Why are you drinking and coming to the house of the Lord? And she said she's in travail and pain because she's calling upon the name of the Lord. And he said to her, be it made unto you as you have asked. Eli was a reputable priest. He was a good priest. He was one of the best high priests to pass through Israel. But the Bible says Eli had a problem. And because Eli had a problem, God also had a problem with Eli. The problem was not how he did his work. 
the problem was not how good of a high priest he was. The problem God had with Eli is not the fact that he did not do his execute his role as high priest to the best of his ability. The problem God had with Eli is that Eli knew the sins of his sons and did nothing about it. And God warned Eli, Eli, you may be a good priest, but you need to be a good father. And Eli allowed his sons to do what they felt like. They had sex with women in the sanctuary. They, they lit strange fires before the Lord and all these other kinds of things. And God was frustrated with it. And God punished Eli because of the sins of his sons. On this Father's Day, I came to tell some fathers in the house who are listening to me that God expects us not just to be good at our profession. Many of us know how to get money and raise our families and provide finances for our children. Many of us know how to do this and to do that and to run our homes all financially. But God expects us primarily to run our homes spiritually. And God expects us to be the father that he wants us to be. And Eli did a good job as priest, but a terrible job as, his, as father. He, he, com he, com he complied with his son's foolishness and allowed them to do what they wanted to do, failing to correct them because he thought that being loved was more important than being respected and being, ob uh, being objective with his children. Fathers, I came to let you know that sometimes even your children will get angry with you. Sometimes people they, you know, will think that you're too hard on your children, but God expects you to be the father that he wants you to be. Set the banners, set up the, 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 the demarcations and the boundaries. Let your children know that morality is indispensable. Right is, is indispensable. God expects his fathers to have that moral impetus and that fervor to raise your families in the fear of the Lord. And let me tell you something, when you raise your children in the fear of the Lord, God will bless you for being a good parent. God will bless you for being a good father. We have too many absent fathers today who are not living up their role as fathers. We have too many fathers who are just around there to bring money. At the end of the day, you don't have to call them fathers, it's better you call them a sugar daddy. You are not a sugar daddy, you are a father. Even if, even if you are not loved the way you think you should be loved and appreciated for being a father, stand for what is right. Raise your children in the fear and admonition of God because at the end of the day, God is counting on you, men. God is counting on you to lift up the banner and be the priest of the home like he intended. Don't be an Eli. At the end of the day, Eli, when he heard the bad news about his son, fell and broke his neck. What a terrible end to the man of God. The man who led many to the key to, to, to the sanctuary. The man, the man who prayed for several people and they were healed and they got their, their request known and, and, and realized that same man died of a broken neck because of his sons. Fathers, I challenge you today on this Father's Day to be an example to your children. Stand for what is right. They may make noise with you for it, but at the end of the day, God will look at you and he will be proud. And when they get older, they would look and they would say to you, thank you, daddy, daddy, for the, the example that you set for me. I challenge you today, fathers. I challenge you in the mighty name of Jesus to hold up the banner of Prince Emmanuel. Don't be an Eli. It's better to be an Abraham. It's better to be an Abraham. When Abraham was called by God to sacrifice the very son that God promised him, the Bible says that Abraham went up to Mount Moriah to, 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 with, with, his, with, his, with his son, get up to the, to, to the mountain. He went up to the mountain to, to sacrifice his own son. And his role of a father was so powerful that not even his son questioned him about using him as the sacrifice that day. Because Isaac understood that what his father did, it was because he was connected to the Lord and Savior. Let me say something to you, brothers and sisters. We need more fathers to stand up to the plate. We need fathers to be present for their children and for their wives. We need fathers. And sometimes society does not give the credit to fathers. That's why sometimes on Father's Day, fathers don't get any credit. Mothers, they everybody get in the gifts. And sometimes I'm guilty of that, sending the gifts for mommy and none for daddy. <laughs> because at the end of the day, we value mothers more than we value fathers. But let me tell you something. When it comes to the things of God, the role of the father is of utmost importance as far as God is concerned. You represent Christ in your home. You are the Jesus that your parents, that your children want to see. Before they know Christ, you are the Christ that they are looking to. Don't disappoint them. 
on this Father's Day. I wish you blessed families, love, success, and peace. But most of all, I pray that you will call sin by its right name. Raise your children in the fear and admonition of the Lord. And I know that God will bless you as a result of your hard work as fathers. Happy Father's Day. And I want to pray for you today that God will bless you and keep you even in these difficult times. Heavenly Father, we commit our fathers into your hands, Lord. We ask you to bless them in a mark and special way. Help them not to be Eli's, but help them to be the father that you want them to be. Help them to set the right principles. Help them to set the right example for their children so that they will be able to be an example to the children that you have given them. And even if it's not their blood children, but even the children of the church, they will be father figures for them. And I pray that you will look at them with pride and you would say, yes, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Thank you for our fathers. Give them a special Father's Day blessing. And most of all, when time shall be no more, save us in your eternal kingdom, we beg. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Happy Father's Day. And keep trusting Jesus Christ.